Hello, reading kids. It's Vivian from Lullaby's Library. How are you? Today, we're reading Novel Bunny 2 by Mo Williams. Enjoy! Novel Bunny 2 A Case of Mistaken Identity by Mo Williams One morning, not so long ago, Trixie took a walk with her daddy. By now, Trixie really knew how to talk. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to show Amy and then I'll show Meg and then I'll show Margot and then I'll show Jane and then I'll show Leela and then I'll show Rebecca and then I'll show Noah and then I'll show Robbie and then I'll show Toshi and then I'll show Casey and then I'll show Coney and then I'll show Parker and then I'll show Brian and then and talk and talk and talk. Trixie was excited because she was taking her one-of-a-kind novel bunny someplace very special. Come on! School! <laughs> Trixie couldn't wait to show novel bunny to Miss Greengrove and all her friends in pre-K. But just as her daddy kissed her goodbye, Trixie saw Zonia. Suddenly, Trixie's one-of-a-kind novel bunny wasn't so one-of-a-kind anymore. The morning did not go well. N uh, full. Nuffle, nuffle, nuffle. The afternoon was worse. When the school bell rang, Miss Greengrove returned the novel bunnies, and the day got better. Then, before she knew it, it was time to go home. Trixie ate her dinner, devoured her dessert, and brushed her teeth, and tried to escape the mommy and daddy robots from Planet Snoop. At half past bedtime, Trixie was tucked in, ready for sleep. But a few hours later, Trixie realized something. Trixie marched into her mommy and daddy's room and said, That is not my bunny! Trixie's daddy tried to explain what 2.30 a.m. means. He asked, can we deal with this in the morning? Trixie's daddy went to the phone. Before he even made it down the stairs, the phone rang. We have your bunny, said a man's voice on the other end. We have yours, replied Trixie's daddy. Arrangements were made. Trixie and her daddy rush across the neighborhood. Trixie did not want to be late. Neither did Sonia. 
There was an exchange. And the novel bunnies were back where they belong. I was so worried about my bunny, said Sonia. So was I, Trixie replied. Then they both said, I'm glad you got your bunny back. At the exact same time. And that is how Trixie found her first best friend. The end. Epilogue. The next morning, both Trixie and Sonia rushed to school. The new best friends had a lot of catching up to do. Do you want to play with my novel bunny? Sure. Do you want to play with mine? Hey, reading kids, did you enjoy the book? That was awesome book. You hear what the people say about this book. I'll read to you three comments. It says, William once again demonstrate his keen insight with a story both witty and wise. Another one, it says, Willems is a master of body language. And three, a seamless and supremely satisfying presentation of art and text. Thank you for reading aloud with me. If you like the book and the video, please consider subscribing to my channel. It will help me a lot. And I can read more books for you and for the other children. Thanks for stopping by.